Well, we're here today with 33-year-old Norma. She was a college cheerleader and was involved in a really serious auto accident over 10 years ago. Since the auto accident, she has been suffering with terrible neck pain, TMJ, headaches every day, the worst constipation you could ever imagine, and horrible sleep. Her mother and her aunt were both wonderful patients of this office. So she's decided to take the next step and get better herself. Exam and x-rays reveal significant range of motion issues and damage to the spine. So let's jump right into the story. I am Norma and I am 33 years old and for now I'm staying home. Yeah, forced to stay home. Forced to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> She's a mother, so so yeah. um, she wants to stay home. So uh, ten years ago, she was in an auto accident, a uh, pretty good one, and she's had pain ever since. Why don't you tell us what happened there and tell us the pain you're in? Uh, well, I had a car accident for ten years, and little by little, I started having pains here on my on my neck, um, and then it started in my knees, numbness. I can't sleep, headaches. Headaches almost every day, yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything. Her x-rays, oh, pretty bad guys. Um, I thought there'd be a fracture there. I thought there'd be some kind of residual fracture, broken bone. Her problem is that she really hurt herself in the car, I think. Could have been before, but it's pretty high on her neck, her reverse curve. I mean, it's C2. I mean, it's like really jammed up in there and she feels it. And she has this whole little thing she does about how she moves her neck to, get, mm -hmm. to kind of make her head go in a certain position, but she has issues and it's plain as day and we're gonna adjust exactly on the spot and she's gonna feel a difference right here okay and so um, tell us how bad does the neck get it's about eight eight or, right yeah gotcha and so when does it become a 10 does it ever become a 10 later at night or at night yeah when you're doing what later at night laying down sitting taking care of the kids what sitting and especially sleeping so I feel that's like, when it's the worse yeah that's when gotcha it's worse. you sleep on your stomach back or side Stomach, side. Gotcha, okay. And so, um, what are you guys in? Leave comments in, in the comment section and tell us what you think about how she sleeps. <laughs> okay. Uh, TMJ, jaw pain too? Yes. Gotcha. And then uh, she was also a cheerleader in college, of course. Look at her. And then headaches three to four times a week. Right ear. She has a uh, ring in her right ear once a week, she says. Uh, she also has a ton of constipation. This is going to be the interest one for me. Um, I know it's a she doesn't want to talk about it, but this is interesting because she only goes how often? I can't even remember when I, they asked me. I don't even know when was the last time. Yeah. So we said once a week, right? But it has to at be. Least, you, you, at least. At least. Yeah. Yeah, right? And so she can go longer. And mm -hmm. so I have one other patient on my um, YouTube channel that went, used to go once every two weeks. And so what do you have to do to get to go? What do you have to take? Drink tea. Drink tea. Any medications? No. Ever seen any doctor for your constipation mm -hmm. at all? No, not at all. And did you have constipation? One last question about, did you have it before the auto accident? Do you know if you had it all your life? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. You, so you were better off then? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So um, she doesn't look it, but she's full of shit. So <laughs> <laughs> that's an old joke. I say it on lots of videos. So I guess it's a joke to keep on giving. <laughs> Tell us about your uh, two wonderful aunt and mother that came in here. Say hi to them. Hi, Mom. I'm going to say Virginia. Aunt. Virginia? Is it? Virginia. 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 See, I don't know how to say it in Spanish. But it's not Virginia. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> that's what I wrote down on the card. So they've both been in here. They both do a yes, wonderful still, right? Both do yes, a wonderful still. Okay. So go ahead and uh, bend over, touch those, please, best you can. How much pain in your back there? Here. Right four. there. Four? Yeah. Got your stand up, please. Mm. Oh, I see something. Not your earring. That's funny. <laughs> I thought it was falling out of her hair, but it's uh, so far back. It's just in her ear. Like, like this, please. Mm. With that, in your back? Same thing, four. Four? Mm. Okay, uh, with your neck, look at the floor, please. Mm. And no, this is pulling right, about three, this you said? This is pulling three. About yeah. three? Now let's come closer, come closer. Mm. Okay, now, um, this is the crazy part. I want you guys to pay attention to this. So she's going to go back and do a neck extension and show them what you have to do. I have to shrug my shoulders in order to go back us. Why do you have to do that? Because you I can't. Have pain. Too much pain. How much pain right now when you do this? Okay, eight. Eight. Go ahead and go forward. Are you dizzy like that? You yeah. Mm -hmm. You dizzy like that too? I, I didn't tell you about that. Okay. So she looked like she was going to fall there. See that, guys? Show us how you move your neck backwards. Mm. Now, why do you have to lift your shoulders like that? Because it hurts. It when hurts. Go back. And how much pain when you do that? 
Mm, eight. Eight. Eight out of ten, right? Yeah. Cool. Tons of pain. Now, one more thing she's going to do. Go ahead and let your neck go to the right. Lean to the right. Okay? Now come this way. Do you see that little twist? Do you see that thing that happened? She goes, it's like... Again, her neck problem is a high neck reversal. And so her problem is right here. We have five millimeter right imbalance and occipital tilt, pretty bad one. Here we have 15 degree lumbar curve and constipation, pretty easy to see. High neck reversal, which is bad, and displaced atlas, which is arced pretty badly. And here we have a sway back and confirmation of that constipation. And this is where the neck reversal is so bad, and we're gonna see how she does with this one. Okay. What, what are you thinking right now? Your anxiety is coming up right now. Yeah, huh? it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, I've done this a few years. <laughs> Just take your time, kiddo. Just take your time, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna rush through this. Good. You can see her eyes. Look at her eyes twitch, guys. Yeah, you see them twitch. Okay, I'm not gonna rush through this. I'm sorry, it's scary. We'll go slow. Good girl. I'm not gonna adjust you yet. Mm -hmm. just, uh, that's just getting you lined up, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now breathe in again. Mm. Breathe in. Let it go again. Let it get you adjusted here. Let it go. Mm. Good. Mm. How was that? I felt it on my head. In your head too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, by the way, she started with a three out of four, three or four out of ten headache. Mm -hmm. What's that like, kiddo? Feel good, though. Feel good? Yeah. Feel good? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I'm excited to see how you do after this. Mm. I mean, uh, she's been suffering for 10 years, guys. 10 years. We are just gently lifting Norma up and reminding her not to twist and turn or she will undo my work. Look straight ahead, keep your arms at your side, and kind of just start feeling how you feel. We want to know what's going on after our first adjustment. Let's listen in. Feel relaxed. More, a little more relaxed? More relaxed. Gotcha. Okay. Any change in your headache at all? Mm-mm. Still three or four? Yes. Gotcha. We're going to walk here in a second. That's recalibrating your spine like we always talk about. Arms down. Look straight ahead. Just walk to the wheelchair. Okay? Just a little walk to Jovan's wheelchair and back for a recalibration of her spine. I can't wait to see how she does. I'm so excited. What's your immediate take from it? Just felt a little easier to walk or lighter yes. or what? Uh, lighter. Lighter. It was lighter. Gotcha. What about your headache now? Uh, it's, it feels relaxed. I feel relaxed. Just you still have a three or four headache? Mm, mm, yeah, sort of. I. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, so anything else different? If not, we're, we're, we're going to check everything else out, mm -hmm. okay? Step back, please. So go ahead and uh, bend over touch your toes. That was a four out of ten pain in your back. No. No, no pain. Gotcha. No pain now? No. Why are you looking like like I'm crazy or like you're crazy? <laughs> no, it's just... It was hurting a few minutes ago, right? Yes, it gotcha. was hurting. Back like this now? Mm -mm. That was a four minute ago too, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Gotcha. Now the best one's here, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Look down the floor. Mm -mm. No stretching, no nothing. And that was a three or four, right? Yeah. Come forward a little bit. Okay. A little more, a little more right there. Good. Now, do your thing. Oh, it feels better. Did you move your shoulders? No. Mm-mm. I didn't have to. No, it feels better. And what if, was the number? What was the number? I, I, feel, I feel like a three, a pain for a three, but it feels better. When, I relax. When's the last time you had this, le, le, this low amount of pain? I, I forgot when it was, but I, I don't know. It feels, it feels good. Is that crazy? Yeah. And so she There's didn't no move her pain. shoulders, guys? Mm-mm. There's no pain. Yeah, I feel light, very light. I'm so happy to have you here. Yes, thank you. So let's uh, keep going. And so thanks for sharing your story. Thank and so uh, say goodbye, guys. Bye -bye.